Thank you very much. The next question, the member for London West. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, under this government's watch, we saw a public university go bankrupt, and now we have a new report highlighting the widespread financial fragility of the sector. The report has confirmed that this government provides the lowest per student funding in the country uh, for our colleges and universities. Compared to the rest of Canada, Ontario's per student funding is just 44 per cent for college students and 57 per cent for university students. Speaker, will this government commit today to bringing Ontario's per-student funding in line with other Canadian provinces? To reply, the Minister of Colleges and Universities. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, the member, for that question. I am excited to say that after months of hard work, the Blue uh, Ribbon Panel report was released yesterday. And I want to thank the members of the panel for their diligent work and also thank Dr. Alan Harrison for his leadership. As we review the report and begin to develop and implement solutions for the future of the sector, know that our top priority is and has always been students. But we also know the value of an education in Ontario, which is why when a student enrolls at any of our colleges and universities, they know the education they will receive is strong and among the best in the world. Over the coming weeks, we will be focused on addressing the financial sustainability, institutional accountability, and how we as a collective can support our students today and into the future. My job is to ensure that post-secondary is sustainable for years to come so that young folks like this in the crowd today have post-secondary in the future. Supplementary question. Speaker, uh, under this government, provincial grants now account for just 30 per cent of university operating revenues, which is failing students and putting the sector at serious risk. The University of Waterloo will end this year with a $15 million operating budget deficit. Queen's University has announced a deficit of $63 million. Wilfrid Laurier, $11 million. The University of Guelph has reported budget deficits for three consecutive years. Deficits mean program cuts and hiring freezes, hurting students and undermining the quality of university education. When will this government increase post-secondary education operating funding to prevent more universities from falling into deficit or even bankruptcy? Again, the Minister of Colleges and Universities. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And the long-term financial sustainability of our post-secondary institutions is a top priority moving forward. But as I mentioned before, the sustainability and viability of our sector is a shared responsibility. I have been clear that institutions will also need to review their spending and operating practices for any increase in funding to be considered. When our government invests over $5 billion annually of taxpayer dollars in operating funds for our colleges and universities, we need to ensure that that money is being spent wisely. That doesn't account for the billions in tuition, including over a billion through OSAP, that students and their families spend, spend on education every year. So as we review the report, we will be sure to review all recommendations holistically to ensure the path forward reflects, reflects the collective respectively. 